The number of children in England who were adopted has fallen for the sixth year in a row, leaving thousands trapped in the care system. The government has said that there is a growing need to find more families who are willing to adopt. In March this year, there were 81,000 children in the care system. There were 81,000 children in care in March this year. In 2015, 5,000 children were adopted, but this year that number has fallen to just 3,000. Adoption UK describes this as a tragedy. Hi mate, how are you? Yeah? Yeah, I'm good. Look, I need to have asked some advice about tonight. Um, do I buy candles? You know, like, this is a special moment. Like, this is the, gonna be the time that we actually conceive. There's just so much more meaning to this time than before. Like, is it isn't just for fun? Like, don't get me wrong, I want us to have fun, like, and, and for me to have fun, and like, you know, for, for us both to have fun, but I just, this is the time we want to bring a child into this world. So more of a romantic kind of fun than a whips and masks kind of fun? Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks, mate. Hopefully I'll let you know how it goes. I'm the problem. It's me. Yeah, please, don't be, it's not. It is. It's my fault. Me. It's not your fault, Josh. I'd understand if you wanted to leave. Wanted to what? Well, I can't give you a baby, so... It doesn't matter. It does matter, you want a baby. I want you. More than a baby. Yes. I love you, Josh. But... I love you. You could always use a sperm donor. <laughs> what? I mean, we. We could always use a sperm donor. No. Why not? Because I want us to be in this together. I'd be fine with it. I don't think you would be. I would. You think you'd be okay raising a child that isn't biologically yours? My sister's raising somebody else's child. <laughs> yeah, that somebody else is her husband. How about adoption? Then we'll both be raising a child that isn't biologically Exactly. Ours. We'll both be together, shared. They won't ever really be ours though, will they? I'm not sure if a biological child would or should ever be ours anyways. Is that what you want? I don't know. I feel... I just feel like there are way too many of us already as it is. I'm not adopting so you can feel better about the universe. That's not the only reason. We are so many. Oh, stop trying to save the world, Abby. But there are children out there that need us. You could say the same for plastic bags you keep telling me not to use. <sighs> They've already been created, so we may as well use them. Yes, sure. So they'll just make a lot more. Just like they'll make more children. They? Yes. I really don't like your tone, Josh. You're suddenly like a snob. Don't have a go at me when it's my balls, not yours, that don't fucking work properly. Fine. No, I'm, Look, I'm it's really fine. Sorry. Just leave it. Why don't we? What? What? Get married? Yeah. Really? Why not? <laughs> I mean, I don't believe in marriage. Why? Because it belongs to the dominant patriarchal order. No, because it's bloody expensive. It doesn't need to be. And it won't fix anything in any case, will it? I won't be doing it to fix anything. 
I'm doing it because I want to marry you, Abby. I want to get up there in front of our friends and family and say, this is the girl. This is the girl I want to spend the rest of my life with. She's fucking brilliant. <laughs> You're good stuff. As someone with a low sperm count, I find your choice of metaphor rather insulting. <laughs> but you still want to marry me. Who else is going to put up with your shit? Or your shit. <laughs> exactly. So? Are you proposing to me, Josh Harding? I suppose I am. Yeah. <laughs> shit. That wasn't very romantic, was it? I think that was one of the most romantic things you've ever done. Is it? Yeah? <laughs> yes. But then, yeah, that's just a sad truth. Thank you, mate. That was really what I needed at this time. <laughs> oh, we could cheers to that, though. All right, cheers to my faulty balls. Cheers to your faulty balls. Cheers to my faulty balls. Mm. But then, um, seriously, um, have you guys thought about abduction? <laughs> you did not finish that. Drink that. Um, Come on, drink, drink, drink. I'll drink. I'm only finishing it to your faulty balls. Okay, don't mm. spill it. Yeah, um, so, so yeah, about abduction. Have you guys thought about it? I've thought about it, and to be honest, I don't think I really want to do it. I want a child that is biologically mine. I want a child that I see my... I see my mum's eyes in that child. But and, you can't fucking make one, bro. Yeah, I know I can't fucking make one. So, you know, what am I meant to do? Just adopt somebody else's child? A child that somebody else didn't want is meant to be mine? What if I don't love it? I know that's a horrible thing to say, but why should I? It's not my child, so why would I love it? You know there's something, and, and from where I come from, there's a saying in my culture that says, beggars can't be choosers. Oh, thanks, mate. Bro, you can't make a kid and then you're trying to choose. What are you doing? Yeah, I know I can't, and it's shit. Um, but I just... I don't know, it was something that I always wanted as well, do you know what I mean? Like, I know Abby's wants it more, and she wants it a child sooner than I do, but I was still looking forward to the whole changing nappies at 3am, and, you know, yeah. taking them the first time that they walk, and the first time they talk. Trust if, me. If you adopt, you know, a child, then you're not going to get those first moments. Like, I want to take them to Disneyland and yeah, them to really believe yeah, that Peter yeah. Pan is Peter Pan, you know? Trust me. And I know all those a... good stuff. I know you want to, you know, wake up in the night to stop your kids from crying. I know you want to be your God. But then it's life. At the end of the day, you don't always get what you want. That's yeah. one thing I want you to understand. You don't always get what you want. If you're an Abby, you know, come to a conclusion that you can make kids. You could actually adopt. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? You guys may end up end up liking this kid. This kid may end up bringing so much joy to you guys. He may end up, you know, bringing you guys together. It's yeah. something you both really think about, you know. You both can go to, like, a, you know, um, see the kid. You know, start a life from there. Pick up the kids. Treat them nice. And then I think everything will, will be fine. You don't have to, you know, wait for the perfect time. Because I don't think your faulty balls got any perfect time, bro. Okay, wow. That is fair enough. I mean, who knew that you could speak so well? Mm. I think that's the whiskey talking, not you. Yeah, that's the whiskey talking, but then you seriously need to give it, you know, a try, okay? Fake it from a friend to a friend. You know, I really need someone to inherit, you know, all the wealth because at the end of the day, bro, inheritance, it's, it's key. So, yeah, definitely. I think you should shut up and take another shot. Happy now? Try making Abby happy too, bro. Are you okay? You were miles away. It's a lot to take in, isn't it? I know it's up to Abby and I to make the decision and tell the adoption agency. I just really need your advice. You are my sister, after all. We shouldn't try and overthink it. We're not trying to be Mother Teresa or anything. We just need to fill in this form the adoption agency gave us. So when you're ready, I'll read out from the list, okay? Down syndrome. We agreed not to discuss with the adoption agency. Seriously? Yes, are you nuts? Abby and I could not handle a child with Downs. It is horrible, isn't it? Look, it doesn't make me a bad person. It doesn't mean I have anything against children with Down syndrome. It's just 
We actually have a choice here. We're allowed to be ruthless. It's all just hypothetical. Except it's not hypothetical, is it? These children do exist. Yes, but that doesn't mean they all have to be adopted by Abby and I. I mean, the truth is, let's be honest. No one would choose to have a child with Downs. Okay. Okay, so I'll carry on reading from the list they gave us. Genetic risk of mental illness. We'll discuss. Good, because we all have a risk of mental illness. Some, more than others. Twat. Just trying to lighten the mood. Genetic risk of physical illness. We'll discuss. Mm-hmm. Learning disability. We'll discuss. I agree. Great. We're on the same page. Next. Risk of special needs due to parental drug or alcohol abuse. You don't have to sound so jovial about it. Risk of special needs due to parental drug or alcohol abuse. It's not the child's fault, so we'll discuss. I agree. Right. HIV or AIDS, we'll obviously, would not discuss. Would not discuss. But... It, it would make things really complicated. But that's like saying no to Adam. Adam is 27. He's one of your closest friends. Yeah, and I bet he'd be the first one to say we're doing the right thing. You bet. Well, I think so. Phone him and ask. I'm not actually going to phone him. Phone him? No. This is about Abby and I. Our decision, not yours. I want your advice, but I don't need it. The truth is, I would not be willing to discuss adopting a child with HIV. That was a bad shot, man. Uh, yeah, so talking about balls, how's it going? Oh, thanks. Can I not just have one ball game? I'm talking about bloody balls. Um, <laughs> honestly, yeah, I do have big news. I do have big news. Okay. Abby and I are going to meet the, um, the child that I'm thinking of adopting. <laughs> Wow! Whoa, bad whoa, shot. Whoa, bad bad shot. shot. Um, yeah, but it's it's a girl. Um, whoa, it's a girl. It's a girl. Cool. And um, we're thinking we're thinking of adopting a ball. I just thought my shot was more important there. A girl, eleven years old, and uh, potentially ours to adopt. Damn! Why have I put myself in such an awkward position? Oh. Uh, but, um, yeah, uh, what do you want? Me to tell you if it's on my case for them? I mean, obviously, 11 years old, looking all healthy and bright, but um, dad was never in our life, and mum was, uh, well, mum was an alcoholic, to put it bluntly. So, an alcoholic? Yeah. Um, but we're going to give it a shot. We're going to meet her. We're going to take her um, take her out. We're thinking, we don't actually know. Uh, bowling? Like, how does bowling sound? Okay, okay. The first thing you need to know is that, you know, you know, just like, connecting with her, because that's definitely going to be the first time I think I see each other. So I hope that you guys, you know, get to connect with her. Oh, that's, that's... I know, I was cheeky there. I took an extra shot. But, you know, I think if you're going to insult my friends, I'm allowed to take an extra shot. Yeah. Um, sure. so anyway, I don't want to think about it too much, because I'm just actually quite nervous. Don't think about it too much. When you guys get to meet her for the first time, you know, just cry if you just cry and um, you know be very open hearted. You know, you, you may never know what comes out of that. She may end up, you know, liking you guys at the first sight, you know, that kind of thing. Try to be a little bit you know, friendly and smiley. Don't go out there, you know, with like a bony face or something. Just try to you know, show So up. basically don't go there with my usual sour face. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know how sour face is. It's always very horrible, trust me. You don't want to see yourself. In that. So yeah, just just go with an open heart and, uh, and hopefully you and Abby should you get to connect with the kid. And then I think you'll be fine, okay? I'll just try and make it one shot, man. Right, okay. One okay. shot, one shot. One like me. Yeah, I don't blame you. Faulty balls. I get this sake! I'll get this right and then you go buy me a drink. Deal? Deal. Okay.